Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today we are back here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. It's, it wasn't able to go ahead last year due to COVID. So the last time this event was on was 2019. It's been over two years since I was last here. It, Christmas has passed. However, we are, are here a little bit later and look at this. I've been waiting to see these rides here again. Wow, Mouse XXL over there. That's going to be my first ride of the day. I haven't ridden that since 2017. So I'm looking forward to getting back on that. I've only ridden it the once. Euro coaster over there. I won't be riding that today. I rode that last time I was here. Did not enjoy it one bit. Very uncomfortable. It looks good off ride though. But there we go. Wild Mouse XXL. Looking forward to getting on this. One of the best Wild Mouse coasters out there. Airborne over there. Can't wait to get on that. So let's go. Wild Mouse XXL. I've got the chest mounted GoPro so I can take you on ride here today. Let's go. Just joined the queue for Wild Mouse XXL. It's got a big queue at the moment, but hopefully, with the fact this is a Wild Mouse, it's running quite a few trains to look like, so hopefully it won't be too long until we get on this thing. The last rode this in 2017, only ridden it once. Looking forward to getting back on it. It's a very smooth ride. One of my favorites, in fact, it is my favorite Wild Mouse coaster. Looking forward to getting on it. It looks really good here off ride. Can't wait to get back on this. Here we go guys, after about 40 minutes of waiting, we're here on Wild Mouse XXL. First ride in four years. Looking forward to getting back on this. It's a good Wild Mouse, this one. Normally I'm not too much of a fan of Wild Mouse, but this one is really good. Eight pound a ride, so it's not cheap. Here we go. Here we go. This is the reason why I don't like wild mouses now. Oh, very controlled. Here we go. Oh, yes. Look at Munich looping over there. It looks amazing with the lighting package. Next ride's going to be airborne. I can't wait to get on that. One of the tallest flat rides on the travelling fair circuit. 213 feet. Here we go. Have we got some sharp brakes coming up? Oh, not too bad. Oh god. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting airtime like that. Here we go. Oh, sharp brakes. There we go. Here we go. Into the brake run now. Oh, there we go. Oh gosh. There we go. That was brilliant, that was. Worth the eight pounds. That was better than I remember it to be. So then guys, just got off Wild Mouse XXL there. Absolutely brilliant Wild Mouse. I really, really enjoyed that. The corners were nice and smooth as well. That's what I like with the Wild Mouse. Some amazing airtime on there and the drops are amazing as well. It's just a bit of a shame that it is eight pound a ride. Very, very expensive. And the queue as well. I waited about 40 minutes for that because of the fun house section in the queue. And here it is. Airborne standing at 213 feet. I'm looking forward to getting on this one. I've been excited to ride it ever since I knew it was coming to the event. It is absolutely massive. I can't wait to get a ride in on this. the first one's on which means we're going to go to the top and we're going to be sitting up there for a bit while the other side loads on and we're going to go we're about to be 213 feet above london and what a perfect time for it as all the lights are coming on we've got heidi down there that's a new coaster cred for me to get look at the view we're almost as high as hangover here we go now we're going to wait here for a bit Look at the view, there's Wild Mouse XXL down there that I just rode. 
Next, I think I'm going to do Olympia looping, or Munich looping as it's known when it's here in the UK. So here we go. So here's a look at just how high up we are. If I leave you down there, you can see right down to the floor. Honestly, this is an absolutely incredible view. I don't think it's going to be a particularly intense ride, but I've not come on here for that. This is already, just from this view, one of my favourite rides here at Winter Wonderland. Here we go, the other side's loaded up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yes. Here we go. Oh yes. Oh, that's a bright light. Holy crap. Here we go. Oh yes. I think I might take my glasses off actually. I think I might lose them. Oh my god. or blizzard as it's known over here here we go slowing down a bit now the end of the cycle here on airborne that was brilliant after an incredible ride on airborne there it is over there that is absolutely incredible one of my favorite rides here at winter wonderland i'm now going on Munich looping the world's largest portable roller coaster and I can't wait to get back on this I haven't ridden it for two years bit of a queue for it so I don't think I'm going to be able to choose where I'm going to sit so I'm going to have to hope that I'm near the front row because this thing on the back I find it to be quite painful but on the front it's a lot more enjoyable so I'm all the way over from Germany this one it's been coming here for the last few years it's an absolutely incredible ride. I can't wait to get back on it. Here we go on the Munich looping, one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever ridden. And apparently it's bags on because no one ever bothered to take it. Here we go. City Star Ferris wheel over there. That looks amazing. We did that in 2019. If you want to see that, I'm not going to be doing it tonight. Here we go, the world's largest portable roller coaster. And we're about to go down the drop. Here we go. My restraint's quite loose as well, so that's good. Hopefully it won't tighten too much. Here we go.
straight's really uncomfortable now though. It's really digging into the shoulders. XL now, one of my favourite rides here at Winter Wonderland. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Time for XXL, one of the best rides at the event. I've ridden this twice before. It looks like it's on a pretty short cycle tonight, but that is the normal when it gets busy here at Winter Wonderland. Here we go, it's like we're back on the cyclinator. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go, it's an intense ride this. It's just a bit taller than the cyclinator. glasses then. That was a worry. Here we go, slowing down now. Oh, that was brilliant. Wow. The cycle is longer than I was expecting, but it's still not the longest cycle I've had on this. That was brilliant. That was definitely worth the eight pounds. Brilliant ride. XXL here at Winter Wonderland. package on it as well unfortunately the cycle wasn't particularly long however it's still absolutely incredible i'm going to go for a ride on aeronauts now i've ridden one of these before but not for a long time so i'm looking forward to getting on it and it's right here next to jumper jumper so let's go and give this a ride looking forward to getting back on one of these i absolutely loved it when i last went on it here it is Here we go guys, time for a ride on Aeronaut. I've not ridden one of these for a long time. I loved it last time. Here we go. The last one of these I went on was very intense. I last rode one of these probably about six or seven years ago. cycle doesn't look like it's going to be too long but as I said on XXL that's the normal here when it gets busy in Winter Wonderland 
Here we go. Lifting up now. Oh, here we go. We're building up a bit. Of, here we go. We're off now. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, it's a bit like a sizzler so far. Oh, wow. Holy crap, it's intense. Here we go. It's got a good lighting package, this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is this very intense. Very, very intense. Oh, wow. Holy crap. It's really intense. If I don't... Oh, my God. Oh, my... God, I'm blacking out! Wow! It's really intense! Had some technical issues on the GoPro for the second half of that. But I have still got the first half. Yeah, it was very, very intense. Felt a little bit sick after it. That's the most intense ride I've ever ridden. That was really, really intense. Yeah, I wasn't quite expecting that. Last time I went on it, I, I didn't remember it to be as intense as that. Here we go. Yeah, I'm alright, and we're here in one of the fun houses now. Here we go, so there's the view from that balcony. We've got another three balconies to go. Sorry, two. There's three balconies on this. Oh my god. There's the stairs that came up. Here we go, we've got Oh, they light up. Oh, look at this. That's cool. Here we go, there's it. Oh gosh. Oh, the sound. Here we go up the ladder. We're about to get onto the second balcony now. We can see out there. Here we go. Oh, not much charge left on the camera. I, oh, God. Okay, guys, I'm not going to film the entire thing. I've not got much charge left on here. Here we go. Go then, guys. So I just did the app. Ski Party Funhouse, I believe that's how it's pronounced and what it's called. And I'm now going on Heidi. This is a brand new concept. Well, not really, but it's a brand new type of spinning coaster from Revachon. So instead of going down that drop and up and turning around, you go through an overbank just here. There's also onboard audio on this. And look at how fast it goes up this lift hill. Here we go. Here we go, ready for this? It's like the lightning rod here in Winter Wonderland. Here we go. Look at that. That's brilliant. So here we go, let's get it, go and get on Heidi. Seven pound a ride, so it is pretty expensive considering what it is. And there are two other spinning coasters at this event that are cheaper. But here we go, let's go and give this a ride. Here we go guys, we're on Heidi. We're about to go up the fast lift hill. Here we go. New credit for me this one. The last spinning coaster I was riding was the Ride to Happiness. An absolutely incredible Mac Extreme spinning coaster with five inversions, launches, and now I'm on a little Revachon spinner. Here we go. 
Okay, ready for the job. We're about to start spinning. Whoa, it's a good air time there. Whoa. Oh, jeez, the lap bar is really, really tight. Oh, my gosh, the lap bar is really tight. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, we're getting a good spin. Ow. Oh, this lap bar is really tight. Oh, oh, it's a pretty good coaster though. It's a bags on ride this one as well. Oh, God, ready for the air time. This can be uncomfortable. Ah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. There we go. That's a decent coaster. Lap bar's very tight though. So then guys, that's now the end of our trip to Winter Wonderland. It was absolutely brilliant. It was great to get back to the event after two years. I got to ride quite a lot of rides, however, I didn't get to ride everything. We we did need to get back for Dusty, of course. Um, so we weren't able to stay for long. We were there for a few hours, but it was it was brilliant. It was really good fun. Got on lots of rides. And yeah, all of the ones I really wanted to do, I did get to do. So there we go. Now, I do just want to say, I did briefly mention it earlier when I was in the fun house. However, the GoPro was having some issues yesterday and is I've I've managed to save most of it but so, especially on Aeronaut. So on Aeronaut, well, th this would have been a funny one to be able to have the footage of since you had witnessed me about to black out, but so not only did I nearly black out on Aeronaut, but the GoPro also did. So I haven't got all of the footage, so I've got about half of the footage for it. It was a very intense ride. You, I think, I think I've got the bit where I say I've, I, I'm losing my vision or something like that. But yeah, it was, it was especially towards the end of the ride as well. Towards the end of the ride, I did actually think I was going to black out. It was a near four minute cycle, and towards the end, I, yeah, I did think I was actually going to black out. It was extremely intense. That and Time Machine at Adventure Island are the two most intense rides I've ever ridden. They are absolutely insane. Aeronaut was an absolutely brilliant ride, but the cycle, it took it out of me. I didn't even realise that. I didn't even realise that that would happen to be honest but yeah normally I'm alright on these rides but that one it was just yeah a little bit too much it was very intense I didn't remember it to be like that though like I I, I went on one a few years ago and I, I think I don't think it would have been that intense otherwise I don't think I would have been able to deal with it when I was much younger but I, I don't remember I remember it to be very intense but I don't remember it to be that intense so yeah there we go it was still a good ride though it was only five pounds as well so yeah there we go but yeah, it was brilliant. I got to do the fun house as well. That was a new fun house at the event. That was really, really good fun. Really enjoyed that, of course, with the name, of course. It is a bit of a shame that we lost Alpen Hotel. That was the best fun house, in my opinion. Opinion. It's a shame we lost that, but that is a worthy replacement. So there we go. That is pretty much the end of this vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. And check out my other YouTube channel at Wealthy Eagle. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you all later. Bye.